What's up, Fit Body Nation? Are you ready for a high intensity workout today? We're gonna be focused on the lower part of the body, the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, the toes, the big toe, the little toe, but we're also gonna be throwing in the endurance and the cardio, so that way we're burning the fat, we're building the muscle. Now, I apologize for the late upload. My wife and I were traveling all weekend and it didn't go as planned as far as when we thought we were gonna be back home. I'm just now getting this out to you, so I apologize for that, but we should be on schedule for the rest of the week, rest of the series. So this is the official start of our third week into our six week series. So if you're brand new, I wanna be the first one to welcome you to the Fit Body Nation. My name is Trainer B, and we do things a little bit differently on this channel. We do something called the Home Fitness Challenge. That's where we take 16 challenges that you can do at home. Some of those challenges may take you a day, they may take you an hour, or they may take you a week to complete. But once you finish them, you go and you check them off. You're given points for those challenges and those points put you on a live leaderboard. So that way you can compete against myself, you can compete against my wife, Coach Sarah, and you can also compete against the Fit Body Nation all over the world. So with that being said, we're gonna get today's workout going, get this thing fired up, and also Sarah's not gonna be joining us today. She's actually in the house making sure our kids don't catch the place on fire. So it's just gonna be me today. But that's all right, let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Okay, so we're gonna start the warm up in about a minute, but here's what you're gonna need for the workout itself. Make sure you got something to drink. Make sure that you got a set of dumbbells. I'm gonna start the timer. We're gonna do a two minute warm up. Once we finish that warm up, we'll have about a minute to rest. I'm gonna explain the first four exercises and then we're gonna be getting right into this. If it's your first time or you're new to the channel, we take four circuits. In those four circuits, we do four exercises. Those four exercises, we spend 30 seconds a piece on, and we go through the circuit for a total of three rounds. All right, so just set the timer. We're gonna start this with a jog in place. We're gonna get the heart rate going, get the blood flow pumping on this, get the joints loosened up. I know after yesterday, we were driving back for quite a while, so, my legs and joints and back are stiff today for sure. So I'm hoping this will make loosen me up a little bit, make me get feeling better because I've got some other work I need to get done today and I'm feeling stiff. All right, good. So let's keep it cranking on this. Let's get the knees up just a little bit higher, put a little bit more momentum in it. There you go. Put a little bit more energy through this workout right here. There we go. Good. Now, you should be able to expect to burn about four to 500 calories with today's workout plus the afterburn effect that you're gonna get from it, which is where your muscles are just repairing themselves from the workout itself. Good, you got it. Now, what I want you to go into is you're gonna take it into a side lunge. So, nice and low, you don't have to go super fast on this. This is just to get everything stretched out while still moving. There we go, you might have a few pops in there. I'm definitely, I'm creaking a little bit, I got some noises. There we go, muscles and joints are cracking. That's it, to the side, back to center. Once we get through these side lunges, we're gonna take it into a squat. In three, two, one. So feet at shoulder width, keep the weight on your heels, you're gonna go down into the squat, right back up. That's it, you got it. There we go. Perfect, 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 I can definitely tell. I did not get as active as I needed to this weekend. We were with family, so we pretty much laid around, had some good conversation, but we didn't do a whole lot of activity. So not the best for me or my body. All right, good. So let's keep the squats going on this. I can already tell it's gonna be a tough workout. I'm, I may be suffering through a little bit more on this than you. All right, good. From this, we're gonna be taking it into a jumping jack, though. In five, four, three, two, one. So jumping jacks real quick on this. Again, this is to get the heart rate back up. It slowed down a little bit with the squats and the side lunges, so I wanna make sure we get our heart rate back up on it. Get the blood flow down in our legs, throughout our body. There you go. Do it, we're gonna do about 20 seconds. Once we finish these jumping jacks, that'll be it for the warm up, and then I'm gonna explain the first four exercises, and you will need dumbbells for them. Good, come on, five seconds, in four, three, two, one, relax, good. All right, so get some water, make sure you got your dumbbells. 
I'm going to go ahead and break down the first four exercises. So the very first one we're going to do, we're going to be focused on a single leg. You can start with whatever leg you want, start with your better balancing leg, but we're going to do a single leg deadlift. So you're going to take two dumbbells, for this one you're going to do a slight bend in the knee, you're going to reach down, touch the dumbbells to the ground, standing back up. Now when you go from the ground to standing back up, you're going to feel it in your glutes and your hamstrings back here. We'll do 30 seconds on that single leg. Once we're done with that, we're going to start on one side, you're going to jump to the side and jump back, and then we're going to go into a four count split lunge, okay? Then back feet center, over to the side, right back, starting back with that four count split lunge, okay? We'll do 30 seconds of that. Then we're going to switch, we're going to do the opposite leg with that single leg deadlift, and then we're going to do the same jump but on the opposite side, okay? All right, so we've got about 20 seconds till we start, so get ready for this. Okay, make sure you get your dumbbells ready to go. I'm going to be using 20 pound dumbbells for these first single leg deadlifts. All right, five seconds. Grab your dumbbells. All right. So, down to the ground, slight bend in the knee, and standing back up to center. Try to keep the opposite foot off the ground the entire time. You're kicking it back. Touch it to the ground, standing back up straight. We're going to go slow this first round. That way you can kind of get a feel for the exercises. And you can kind of work your balance in there a little bit. And if it's too much to use dumbbells, go with body weight only. So kicking back, standing up. Really kick that leg back. All right, dumbbells out of the way. So remember for this one, you're going to jump over and back. And then we're doing a split lunge, split lunge, split lunge, split lunge. Feet back to center here, over, over, split lunge, split lunge, four split lunges. You can count your own, okay? I'm gonna go slow this first time, just get the pace going though. Four, split lunge, there you go, good. Come on. Now, grab your dumbbells, we're going into the single leg deadlift, opposite leg this time. Good. And I always have a harder time balancing on this leg, especially when I'm trying to talk, but that's okay. So slight bend in the knee, right back up. You're going to feel it pull in the back of your hamstring, your glutes, and a little bit of the quads there. Good, keep it slow. Okay, so now split lunge, opposite side this time. So remember, start over here, you're going to jump, jump back. Split lunge, split lunge, split lunge, split lunge. Back as far as you can over. Get that split lunge. Four of them. Come on. Back center. Over. Right back. Good. Come on. After this, we get to rest for 30 seconds. Good. And then we'll go faster the second round. All right. Relax. So 30 seconds. Now, this time, Let's pick our pace up just ever so slightly. So we're gonna be starting back with the single leg deadlift, right here, and up, okay? All right, 15 seconds. And get those dumbbells ready. And then, jump to the side, jump back, split lunge, split lunge, split lunge, split lunge. A four count. All right, five seconds, here we go. All right, down, right back up. Like I said, a little bit faster with our movements, with our reps this time. We're going to get that heart rate up. Good. Keep working the balance there. I'm definitely feeling a little shaky. That's okay, though. I'm human. You're human. We can only get better. Good. Let's keep it up. A few more reps. All right, dumbbells out of the way. Start with your feet together. So side hop, side hop, one, two, three, four. Side hop, side hop, one, two, three, four. Good. Jump over, jump back. One, two, three, four. Woo, here we go. One, up, don't fall. And back. One, two, three, four. Grab your dumbbells. Single leg down, live. Opposite leg this time. Good. Nope. All right. Here we go. A little alternate. It's kind of cool. All right, good. Keep moving. 
here we go. Back and forward. Kick him back and forward. Good. Now after we got this, we got the side hops with the split one just coming up again. All right. Start off to the side, a little bit of space here. Side hop, side hop. One, two, three, four. All right, and jump, jump. A nice broad jump, really as far as you can, whatever space you have, and back. Good. Two, three, four. All right, come on. Jump, jump. Good, I feel the heart rate climbing this time. All right, good, 30 seconds. Shake it off, catch your breath. It's definitely warming up now. Just now starting to feel loosened up, which is good. All right, so last set now, starting back with our single leg deadlift. All right, ooh, I'm gonna start on my right leg. <sighs> That's my better balancing leg. All right, dumbbells in hand. Two, one, here we go. Last set, down, feet up. Down, feet right back up. Good. Come on, we got this. Perfect. That's it, come on. Keep moving. Good. Keep kicking back. All right, here we go. So, start feet together, jump over. Two, four, three, six, 12 feet as far as you can. Four split lunges. Jump, jump. There you go, good. Three and four. All right, come on. Jump and jump. One, two, three, four. Now, I gotta I got burn some calories with this. Get rid of some of the food choices I had this weekend. All right, opposite leg now, it's last time. Single legs. Sit down, right back up. Down, right back up, good. Here we go. Come on. Now it's hard not to look at the ground, especially when you're trying to catch your balance. But if you look up, it'll keep your back a little straighter and you'll get a tighter pull in your hamstrings, the back of the leg. All right, dumbbells down. All right, here we go. Jump up to the side. Side, side. Four split lunges. Three, four. Come on. Last one. Let's go. Two, three, four. Here we go. Come on. Jump, jump. One, two, three, four. Ten seconds. Jump, jump. One, two, three, four. And relax. Okay. We got 90 seconds. I'm going to explain the next four to you. So for this round, you don't need your dumbbells. I'm going to kick mine just kind of off the mat so I don't accidentally trip over them, so you can kind of get yours out of the way as well. The next four exercises are high calisthenics, a lot of cardio and endurance going into this one for a super high fat burn. So what we're gonna do, first exercise is a star jump, squat jump. You're gonna squat down, star jump, and then squat jump, okay? So we'll kind of go back and forth, star jump, squat jump, star jump, squat jump. After that, we're going into a side lunge with a knee raise to a reverse lunge with a knee raise. So. We'll go side lunge, bring the knee up, kick straight back, knee up. Over the side, knee up, kick back, knee up. We'll do 30 seconds on that one leg only. Then we're gonna do a 180 burpee. So for this one, we'll go down, do the burpee, jump and turn. Burpee, jump and turn, okay? So 180 burpee. And then we're gonna do the side lunge with the knee, reverse lunge with the knee, okay? on the opposite leg. So no dumbbells, just fast pace on this one. Won't take a whole lot of coordination on this one. The last, the first circuit, it took some coordination. All right, so get some water. We get about 30 seconds till we start. Whew. All right. Here we go. It's gonna be good. So starting out with our star jump, squat jump. And if you need to modify this, feel free to do a squat with a squat jump. Star jumps can be a little bit more difficult, but at least attempt it. 
Give it your best. 10 seconds. All right, we got seven seconds. In five, four, three. You hear it. Here we go. All right, so star jump, squat jump. Star jump, squat jump. Star jump, squat jump. You go at your own pace. You can go faster. You can go slower. You can modify if you need to. Come on. One star jump, one squat jump. That's it. You can do it. We got our side lunges with the reverse lunge with the knee in the center. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna start on my right leg out, bringing that knee up, stepping back, knee up. Now your foot never touches when it's in the center. It only touches the ground at the end of the side lunge and the end of the reverse lunge. Good. Knee up, back. Up to the side. Up, back. Up to the side. All right, 180 burpees. So down. Full push up, jump, and turn. Down. Full push up, jump, turn. You got it. Let's go. And these aren't easy. It's definitely going to be a challenge. Woo! All right, here we go. Come on. That's the bad thing about making unhealthy food choices. It definitely affects your workout. All right, now side lunge. Woo! Get that knee up. Reverse lunge. Too close to the wall. Side lunge. Knee up. Reverse lunge. Here we go. Good. My best workouts are always when I've had my nutrition on point for like seven days straight. Those are always when I feel my best. Whew. I'm hurting today. All right. And relax. 30 seconds. Thank goodness. All right. Start jump, squat jumps coming back up. We're going to push through this second circuit. All right. 19 seconds. But well, hopefully you had a good uh, weekend on your side as well. I know I saw a lot of you comment last Friday. But I didn't have time to answer or respond to any of them. But it looks like y'all had some fun times over the weekend. All right. I can barely breathe right now. All right. Star jump, squat jump. Here we go. Star jump, squat jump. Star jump, squat jump. Star jump, squat jump. Star jump, squat jump. Good. Keep it moving. See how many you can get, even if you're slowing down like I am. Here we go. Oh, man. Okay, come on. I need Coach Sarah here to push me. She's my motivation with these workouts. All right. So here we go. Side lunge. Bring that knee up. Reverse lunge. Bring that knee up. Kick it back. Bring it up to the side. Bring it up, kick it back, up, to the side. We've got our 180 burpees next. I'm hoping to get a few more reps this time. Up, kick it back, up, to the side. All right, 180 burpees. Here we go. So down, get that push up, jump, and rotate. Down, push up, jump, rotate. Down, push up, oh, rotate, there we go, down, push up, hey, rotate with it, keep on working, down, push up, yeah. rotate, come on, ah, all right, side lunge, opposite leg this time, bring that knee up, kick it straight back, up, over, up, kick it straight back, up, over. Here we go. Good. Bring it up. Off to the side. Kick it back. Good. Bring it up. Off to the side. Here we go. Two. One. All right. Relax. So, I don't know if you're sweating or hurting as much as I am, but we got one more round. So, if I can do it, I know you can do it. We're in this together, okay? Fist bump, we're gonna finish this one. Second circuit, 
is almost done. Starting back with our squat jump or the star jump. All right, heart rate's up. All right, here we go. So star jump, squat jump, star jump, squat jump. Woo! May not be able to talk for long on this one. Come on, here we go. And jump, star, jump, star, jump, star. Woo! How are we feeling on that end? Kicking butt, I'm sure. All right, side lunge, knee raise. Get it up, step back, get it up. Come on, you can do this. I'm gonna be sore on this one. That's it. Keep that intensity up. Here we go, here we go. Back, even if it's not perfect, mine is, mine is even far from perfect right now, but we doing it. All right, 180 burpees. Down, get that push up. Jump, rotate. Down, get that push up. Jump, rotate. Here we go. Ooh. Come on. We can do this. Ooh. Here we go. Keep working. Let's go. Even if it's slow. All right, side lunges. Here we go. Bring that knee up. Make sure the wall's not too close behind you. Knee up. Side lunge. Bring that knee up. Kick it back. Knee up. Side lunge. Knee up. Kick it back. Here we go. Side lunge. 10 seconds. Good. At least we have a lot of rest next. I'm going to need it. Man. Okay, relax. 90 seconds. So for this set, our third circuit, you're going to need your dumbbells back. I'm going to use a set of 20 pound dumbbells for this one. But our first exercise we're going to do is called a lateral shuffle. So for this one, you're going to be switching your feet just like this, okay? In front of the body. Once you get to the end of however much space you have, you're going to do a high knee back to position. And then you're going to be doing that front lateral back. My legs ain't working as well as they were on this. After we get done with that though, you're gonna do a straight leg deadlift, which means you're gonna take your dumbbells, you go down to the ground, keeping your legs straight so it pulls on the hamstrings, and then back, okay? Legs straight, and then back up. Get as low as you can with them. And once we finish that, we're gonna do a dumbbell deep squat. So you're gonna hold the dumbbells to the side, we're gonna squat as low as we can, keeping our feet about shoulder width. Not too bad there. Then we're gonna do a hamstring hip raise to continue to work those hamstrings. So we'll be flat on our back for that. We'll be popping our hips up off the ground. I'm sure you've done it if you've done any of the workouts before with me at all. And if you're new, you'll catch on extremely fast. All right, we got about 40 seconds. Hoping my legs will uh, loosen up a little bit for those shuffles. All right. So get some of the drink real quick if you need it. We got 30 seconds. All right. 20 seconds till we start. All right. Let's give this one our best. We're almost there. We're halfway. We got two circuits left. Now, I know they're going to be tough because I wrote the workout like 40 minutes ago, but we can make it through on this. Seven seconds. Five seconds. All right, so lateral shuffle, popping those feet in front, just kind of catching the toes there. Try to go as fast as you can. Once you get to the end, high knee, back, into position. Then get set back up, get that shuffle going. One foot in front of the other, come on. Tap and back, you got it, let's go. And then high knee back. Come on, keep working, keep working. We got straight leg deadlifts coming up next. All right, grab your dumbbells. So for this one, you're gonna go down, pull it right back up. You're gonna feel it pulling the back of the legs. That is your hamstrings. So you don't have to go fast on this. It's actually better to go slow. And we don't injure anything. Ooh, they're shaking already. 
There we go. Good. Then our next exercise is just a deep squat. All right, so for this one, feet at shoulder width, weight on your heels, squat nice and low, right back up. Nice and low, right back up. Good. After we get through this one, we'll be on our back, doing the hamstring hip raise. At least with these three exercises, not the first one, but these three, they're not ones that'll just completely wind you. They're more focusing on building the muscle. And on your back, all right, so for this one, hands on your stomach, bring your hips up, right back down. Hips up, right back down. There's multiple ways to make this more difficult. You can do a single leg movement, you can put weight on your hip. I'm gonna do it as is, just like this. Good. You're gonna fill in the back of the hamstrings and then your glutes there. That's it, get those hips up nice and high. And relax, okay. So we got 30 seconds, that was our first round. We don't have to go much faster with the three exercises, um, the last three exercises there, because they're focused on building muscle and strength. But with that shuffle in the beginning, let's try to pick our pace up just a little bit. I know I was personally going slower than I wanted to, so let's try to get going a little bit faster with this. I know it's hard when the legs are tired. All right. Here we go. So, shuffle. Quick, 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 quick. High knee, busting it back to the center and the start. Here we go. Shuffle. Good. Come on. As soon as you get to the end, kick those knees up. Back to the start. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get that shuffle going. Here we go. We got straight leg deadlifts next. I about doubled the pace on that one. Which I like. All right, grab your dumbbells. Straight leg down there. Keep those legs locked out. I still keep my feet about shoulder width on this. You can bring them in closer if you want. Okay. I always round my back off more than I need to. When they're not shoulder width, they're wider though. So I usually keep mine about shoulder width. Whew. Legs straight. Absolutely no bending in the knees for these. Legs perfectly locked out. Good, deep squats are next. All right, so again, feet shoulder width, squat as low as you can. I'm trying to touch the dumbbells to the ground with these. Keep the weight on your heels when you do it. Here we go. Come on, you can do this. Nice and low. You can go heavier with the weight if you want. I could use the 30 pounds I pulled out. I think that's why I pulled them out. All right, now hamstring hip raise on your back. All right, so here we go. Let's get those hips up nice and high. That's it. And the farther you kick your heels away, the harder it is on the hamstrings there. So if you want it to be a lot more difficult, put those heels farther away from your butt, but still get your hips up as high as you can. Ah, all right, we got 30 seconds. We got one more on this circuit. This one's not too bad. All right, doing good. I'm gonna look at the last circuit, see how bad it is. Uh, half and half. So, first half is brutal, but the second one's not. Okay, all right, so back to our shuffles here. Again, let's keep our pace up. I was able to double the first round, so I'm gonna see if I can get a few more on this one. All right, here we go, lateral shuffles or toe tap shuffles, I also called that. Good. High knee back. Come on, come on, come on. Get that shuffle. Tap, 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 tap. Nice and quick, nice and quick. If you played any type of sport, this is probably a sports drill you've done at some point. Teaches good speed technique. Whew. But if you're 32 like I am, Probably not something you've done in a while. Okay, straight leg deadlift. All right, leg straight. So down, exhale, coming back up. Down, exhale, coming back up. We almost do this fun day workout. Almost there. Hopefully I can get it all edited, put together. That way you can actually do it on a Monday. It may end up being later in the week for you, but that's okay. All right, 
Good. We got this. Three seconds. All right, deep squat. Here we go. Straight into it. This is the last round, so let's not take too much time with our transitions and stuff. Good. That's it. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. 15 seconds. Almost there. We got our hamstring hip raise next. Perfect. Keep moving. Five seconds. All right. So now on your back. Heels out. Bring those hips up. Right back down. Hips up. Right back down. Last set. So let's make it count. Woo! The cool thing is after this we get our long rest and then we have our last circuit. So we're almost there. Good. That's it. And relax, okay? So we got 90 seconds, get your breath, get some water if you need it. I'm gonna explain the next four exercises to you. So for this round, our final circuit here, we're gonna be starting out with a suitcase burpee. So for this one, you're gonna need one dumbbell. I'm gonna use the 30 pound dumbbell for this one. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go down, you grab the dumbbell like you would, kick your feet out, no push up though, back up, and you're gonna stand up, just like you'd be carrying or picking up a suitcase. Then right back down, feet out, right back up. We're gonna spend about 15 seconds on each side, okay? So we'll kind of split it up with the workout. Then we're gonna do a forward jump with a back shuffle. So you're gonna need a little bit of space for this one. So for this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump as far forward as you can, shuffle back. That's all there is to that one. So again, make sure that you, if you got shoes on, they're not wet and there's no sweat in the area because you can definitely slip on this one and bust a tailbone. After we get that, the third exercise is a sumo squat heel tap. So this one, your feet are wide, toes are out. And I know we've done this one and the next one, but you're gonna squat, bring your heel up. Squat, heel up. And then the final one is the sumo squat, pointing the toes out, bringing them in. So we'll start with toes out, squat low, toes in, squat low, toes out, toes in. And what this is going to do is hit the inside of the thigh, okay? So those two exercises together. All right, we got 17 seconds till we start, starting with our suitcase burpee. So I'm going to get ready for this. All right, and I'm going to start with the dumbbell in my hand. Okay, so... 15 seconds, I'll tell you when to switch. So here we go, squat down, out, right back up. No push up in there, definitely no jump. The heavier you can go, the better. And try to get about three reps on both sides. We're gonna be switching and switch. All right, so now, down, feet out, back up, standing up. Good. Come on, you got this, five seconds left. All right, make sure the dumbbell's out of the way. No sweat on the ground. So, jump forward, land on your heels, shuffle back. Jump forward, land on your heels, shuffle back. Whoo! Jump forward, shuffle back. And try to get that leap as far as you can, however much energy you've got left in the tank. Good, we got this. And jump forward, land on the heels, all right, so sumo squat, heel tap, toes out, feet wide. So squat, tap, squat, tap. Good, we can do this. Squat, tap. And you're gonna notice, I can't even talk anymore. You're gonna notice on the inside of the thigh there, that's where it gets exhausted. That's where that lactic acid and that burn starts to kick in. Good, come on. All right, so start with your toes out again. Squat low, toes forward, squat low. Toes out, squat low. This first round, it's gonna be a learning round and we'll get faster with the second, third. Good, squat low. Come on, you got this. Whew. Perfect, keep on moving. We got about seven seconds. That's it. 
All right, relax, shake it off. Okay, we got two more rounds. Thank goodness, because I'm definitely starting to get sloppier than I like to get. All right, 20 seconds. <sighs> Starting back with our suitcase burpees. I'm going to start with the weight in my left hand. After 15 seconds, I'll switch to the right. Last time I got about three to four reps in both hands. Let's shoot for about the same thing this time, okay? All right, dumbbell in hand. Sit down. Kick the feet out. Right back up. No push-up. Out. Right back up. Good. Come on. Five seconds left. Good. You can do this. And switch sides. Other hand. Right into it. Don't take too long. Come on. Keep moving. That's it. All right. Move the dumbbell out of the way. We got our forward leap. And our back shuffle. Shuffle back. Good. Forward leap. Shuffle back. Whew. That's it. Forward leap. Shuffle back. A couple more. We got our sumo squats next. Let's get these out. Come on. Three seconds. All right. So here we go. Faster this time. So squat, heel tap, heel tap, heel tap. What sucks is I'm doing a live workout tonight on Facebook. Oh, I can tell that's gonna be, that's gonna be painful. I'm gonna be hurting. But at least I can clean my diet up today. It's a lot harder when you're around family who aren't always the healthiest. Four seconds. All right, now, toes out, toes in, here we go. Toes out, toes in, toes out, toes in. Good. After this, we've got one more circuit, or one more round with the circuit, and we're done. All right, 13 seconds. That's it. 10 seconds left. There we go. Come on. Four seconds. All right, relax, good. All right, 30 seconds and counting. Ah, perfect. Okay, so we got our last set with the suitcase burpee. Remember, try to get four reps, both hands, with not having the push up in there and the jump, we can go a little bit faster. Then our forward leap with that back shuffle, and then our sumos. All right, five seconds, grab your dumbbell. Let's get ready. All right, squat down. Feet out, back in, and up. Feet out, back in, up. Good. Come on. Here we go. Come on. That's it. And switch hands. Get those reps out. Hopefully you transition a little bit faster. I didn't catch it until he's like at 13 seconds. Good. All right, way down the way. So let's jump for it. Here we go. Jump, shuffle back. There we go. Jump. Woo! Try to lay on the heels. If not, you go forward like that. So on those heels, drop the butt down. It'll usually stop you from tipping forward. Here we go. All right, sumo squats. Here we go, so feet wide, toes out. Squat, heel tap. Squat, heel tap. Squat, heel tap. Whoo, we're, we're less than a minute away from being done with our Monday workout. So let's try to pick our pace up a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Here you go. Five seconds on this. Then we got toes in, toes out. Same exercise. All right, start with your toes out. Squat low, toes in. Toes out, toes in. Good. Toes in, toes out. Perfect. Okay, we can do this, come on. I don't know if you're hurting like I am, but I'm feeling, feeling good though, feeling good. Definitely glad I got this one in. 
Okay, a rough fit body nation, you and me, we finished off today's workout. Monday is complete. So we're fast, moving fast into week three here. Make sure you're back Wednesday and Friday for two more high intensity workouts. Also, if you're brand new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And like always, drop a comment below. I love reading them. I didn't get to respond to all of them last Friday, but I'll be going through them today for sure. Love you guys. I will see you on Wednesday, and Coach Sarah will be back with me as well. All right, I'll see you then.